How's it going, everybody? This is Travis. Oh, right. And it's another episode of uh, Daddy and Me. So, what'd you think about the Rumble? Doesn't surprise me. Doesn't? I'm, yeah. I'm still mad that Edge won the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I know. That, that's funny. The one guy you said you didn't like ended up winning the Rumble. Mm. Isn't that something? Yeah. So, what about, uh, what do you think about the woman's, uh, the woman's Rumble? That one was better than the men's. You like that, that better? Yeah. Yeah, how about your girl, Bianca Belair? She won, she entered in early too, right? Didn't she come in like two or three? Pretty impressive. So now she's going to get a title shot, huh? She's going to be like Sasha Banks or something. Yeah, could be. That's going to be a good, uh, probably a good matchup, huh? Or Charlotte Flair. What, what about the rest of the event? Uh, what was your favorite match? Kevin Owens in rings match. That match was fire. It was. Well, what a, why don't you tell everybody what kind of match they did and what all happened? So, <laughs> Kevin Owens burned his arm touching the light. Uh, that is true. Yeah, it was a, so it was a last man standing match, which was basically no disqualifications, um, falls kind of anywhere kind of thing. Or actually, there was no falls. Last man standing, you had to, your opponent had to be, uh, had to be a down for a 10 count, right? And what Brady's talking about is one during during the match, <laughs> Kevin Owens actually touched his arm against one of the lights yeah. in the stage, and it uh it burned, burned his arm. Yeah, it was pretty funny. But uh, Roman Reigns came out victorious. That was a really good match. It was probably my favorite match of the night as well. Uh, I'm kind of glad that Jey Uso didn't interrupt the match. I thought he would, but he he didn't. No, he didn't. You're right. It was a it was a pretty good match. It was I was impressed. Kevin Owens even got really close. Yeah, he got he did. like this was he was like this close. Yeah, he uh he just I don't know. He's one of the better performers to me. He always seems to just really bring it for his matches. He he uh, impresses me a little bit more and more every time I see him. Wait, you remember? Let's take it back a little couple months ago, maybe a year ago, when he fought the Fiend. He really did not do good on that match. He does better with his Reigns matches, but when he fought The Fiend, The Fiend just just threw him around like a toy. He he just destroyed Kevin Owens. Huh. Yeah, well, that happens sometimes. I don't know, I didn't see that match. What about the uh, the match for the WWE title, uh, Goldberg oh. versus Drew McIntyre? Um, that match was not good at all. I thought it'd be longer, but Drew ended up with the victory. I'm, I, that doesn't amaze me. I knew that would happen, but they're going to fight at Rumble. And I think that Brock Lesnar is going to come back at some point. He very well may. Yeah, that, uh, Goldberg, you know, he's getting up there in age. And, uh, you know, it's, it's always cool. It's, it's kind of nostalgic for me to see those guys that I remember coming up and watching. And Carlito the, came back. Carlito did come back. That was pretty cool. He uh, apparently is going to be back. I, he, was on, uh, he was on Raw the following night. So maybe he's going to get back into things. Um, speaking of Raw. I wanted to see him spit out the apple well, juice and knock him on his face. Well, maybe now that he's back, he will, uh, he'll, he'll get a chance to do that. So on Raw, what a... Uh, what were your thoughts on the, the the night after the Rumble? You know, the Raw, they come out. What uh, what'd you think about that one? You know, Edge and, and Randy Orton going at it? I knew Edge would win, and I knew Alexa Bliss would interrupt the match. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah you're right. I, I'm surprised that uh, that didn't happen in the Rumble with yeah. Randy. But, uh, you know, they were saving it. They were saving it for Raw. I guess they're still building up at some point. The, the thing, Fiend's going to come back. The Fiend's going to come back, and he and Randy are probably going to fight. So uh, that's kind of what's going on in the WWE world. Well, now what, let's talk about the Super Bowl. Yeah, I was about to say, what about there's a big game coming up, the Super Bowl. What uh, what are your thoughts on that? I, I think the Chiefs are going to defeat um, the Bucks. You think so? Yeah. What makes you think that? Because Tom Brady's old. And he's yeah. still good, but he's just getting old, and he's about to retire. Yeah, he is getting old. They, uh, I don't know. I, I'm uh, looking forward to. It. I just hope it's a good game. Um, not a big fan of either team, to be honest. Mm. Uh, I would since I Brady. Like the Chiefs. Yeah, since Brady's there, I wouldn't mind seeing let him go ahead and get his seventh one. What the heck, you know? It's kind of cool to see one of the old guys still be able to get her done. So we'll see. Hopefully, I just hope there's a good game. 
But uh, we'll see how your predictions go. Since your predictions weren't so good for the Rumble, maybe we'll see what happens for the Super Bowl. Let's talk a little bit of about Raw. Okay. So sure. we know Bobby Lashley destroyed Riddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. They Riddle got his title match, which he he earned. A week ago, I guess, when he did the... Uh... So, I think this is going to happen. Bobby Lashley, or the Hart Business, is going to turn their back on MVP. And, um, yeah, that's, that, I, that's what I think is going to happen. Bobby Lashley is going to turn his back on MVP. That, well, you never know. That could happen. Um, he definitely seemed to be out of control after his match with Riddle. So, uh... uh... Yeah. Well, who knows? We'll see. So back to the big game. Um, so you just know love for Tom Brady. Now, he's an old guy. You don't think us old guys can get it done anymore? Just because my name's Brady, I don't know. Just I like both Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady. I got gotcha. you. I, I think just I think Patrick Mahomes is going to take the victory. Well, he very well moved. They won it last year, so they're going for two in a row. It's going to be in Tampa, so it's kind of a home game for the Bucks. Also, you know what else is going to be in that stadium? WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. It's going to be in the same stadium, so that's kind of cool. They're both going to be in the same place this year. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, so... Well, what else is going on in your life? Anything good and exciting? Golf. The golf. Tone of 500. Oh, that's, well, that's not golf, but that's NASCAR. <laughs> The Daytona 500? Yeah, well, that's coming up in a few weeks. We, uh, I'm excited for that. Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott, yeah. Yes. Well, okay, well, maybe we'll talk about that one once it gets a little bit closer to time. So, uh, what else? When, uh, what about next time school has pizza? Bringing this old guy a piece of pizza. Can you do that for me? What old guy? Me. Um, so... Is that a yes or no? Okay, so what we we left off a couple matches on the Rumble recap. What um? Charlotte Flair and Nia Jackson Austin. Yeah. So what about who ended up winning that one? Nia Jackson and Shayna Baszler took their title back. Yeah, which we even kinda, though they turned their backs on the Royal Rumble. We kind of knew that was going to happen though. Oscar, you know, already is the Raw Women's Champ, and Charlotte, you know, being what she is, so we kind of knew that. Duh. Did we leave off any other matches, or did we cover them all? Um, I think that's all of them, wasn't it? No, there's a couple more matches in Raw, like Mrs. Morrison and... Oh, yeah, so they had their feud with Bad Bunny, which was yeah. just okay at Ms. TV, but nothing really to, to, to talk about, so... <laughs> he destroyed their music. Yeah, he did. Alrighty, well, I guess that's about it for this one. Um... We'll get back with you next time after the big game and see who was right or who was wrong. Your so final prediction for the big game, Chiefs yeah. for you. Yeah. I'll say Bucks. Brady gets number seven. So we'll see. Um, be sure to subscribe to our, to our page and uh, that way you can keep updated with the new videos and things like that. Until next time, I guess we'll see you around. Bye.